in accordance with the Overnight, a bill. judge attacked in a Nevada courtroom. Hey, oh, 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 hey. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Chaos erupting moments after what appeared to be a calm sentencing. Deobra Redden, a repeat offender, had pleaded guilty to attempted battery with substantial bodily harm, but argued to Judge Mary Kay Hothis he did not deserve another trip to prison. I feel like I should be given a shot because I'm in a better place than I was. The judge reminded Redden of his lengthy criminal record. Three felonies, a gross, nine misdemeanors, multiple DVs. Got a lot going on, sir. Still, he asked for leniency. I feel that, like, I shouldn't be, like, sent to prison for a second time. But the judge denied his request for probation. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he gets a taste of something else because... I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court... Oh, Moments later, Redden leapt over the defense table and the bench, landed on top of the judge, and sparked a brawl with court officers and attorneys. Courthouse officials telling ABC News, Judge Hothis experienced some injuries and her condition is being monitored. The marshal sustained injuries and has been transported to the hospital. But this, this video sadly is, is a great example of how vulnerable judges are. If they would have had any information that he was going to do something this outrageous and violent, they either would have restrained him or even done this remotely. Back in October, Maryland judge Andrew Wilkinson was found with gunshot wounds in his driveway following a targeted attack. Wilkinson was rushed to the hospital but later died of his injuries. According to authorities, a document appearing to be Wilkinson's final court order revealed the 52-year-old judge had issued a decision in a divorce believed to involve the alleged shooter. Judges, in my view, many of them feel vulnerable and rightly so. I think this case will bring to light the whole idea of how vulnerable judges are in their own courtroom.